I think you should let me run the country, you run CNN, All right. and if you did it well, your ratings well, let me ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, I that's well, enough. Welcome to today's cable news craziness, where we take a look at some of the craziness that takes place on cable news. Today, the impeachment trial for the President of the United States started, and over the weekend, Jonathan Capehart was interviewing Hakeem Jeffries and Richard Blumenthal, two great individuals, very high integrity individuals, on his MSNBC show, and they were talking about this impeachment. And they said basically that if you don't testify in the Democrats' sham impeachment trial number two, well, then you're obviously guilty and you know that, and that's why you won't testify. Roll it. Uh, Congressman Jeffries, um, in the first impeachment trial, then President Trump was not called to, was not called to testify. I'm just wondering now that we're facing the, the second impeachment trial and the House impeachment managers at this go round sent a letter asking for Pre for Donald Trump to testify. He declined. Do you think he should? He should testify and defend himself. But because he has clearly refused to do so, in my view, there should be an adverse. Imp uh, imp impact and inference drawn that anything he would have had to say would have actually not been exonerating. It would have been incriminating. Capehart's question is asinine. Jeffrey's answer is even more asinine. Now, I understand that this is not your normal criminal trial here. This is a political exercise. That's what impeachment is. And I think we all can see that pretty clear that this one is very, very political to the point where 45 Republicans have said this isn't even constitutional, so they're not even going to be able to get close to a conviction, and there are no questions here about that. But it is interesting to watch individuals who are concerned about the destruction of American norms and institutions and things of that nature are more than willing to destroy our norms and our institutions and things of that nature in order to get Donald Trump after they already beat him in an election. This argument by Representative Jeffries here that if you don't testify when someone accuses you of something, you are therefore guilty, has been dismissed. The U.S. Supreme Court says no, that is not the case. There is not supposed to be an inference of guilt if you do not testify. You just choose not to testify. And this is no different. Now, I understand why he's saying this. He's dealing with stupid people, so he's going to say a stupid thing that he knows isn't true, and he knows he's not going to get called on for it. But this is where we are in this situation. They make an accusation, and if you say, no, that's not true, well, then you're a liar. If you say nothing, well, then you're clearly guilty. It's a no-win situation, and no one ever thought Donald Trump was going to go sit down in front of these idiots and have a conversation about what happened on January 6th, because this is not an inquiry. This is a trial. And at this point, it's not even about getting a conviction or anything like that. It is just merely about dragging this thing out and saying, can you believe Republicans didn't vote to impeach and convict Donald Trump? How dare they do such a thing? They hate America, etc., etc., etc. That's what this is all about. There's never any chance that they were going to get anywhere with this. This is just another opportunity for the media and their Democrats to drag this thing out, have more conversations about Republicans not voting to convict Donald Trump, how they don't love America, how they hate the norms, and how they're here destroying the country. And only these Democrats can save us. With the help of the media, though, only the media and their Democrats can save America from Donald Trump and his supporters. That's been the angle uh, the entire time Donald Trump has been on the political scene. So why should it stop now that Donald Trump has exited the political scene? More cable news craziness is sure to follow. We'll be there for it. So like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment, and come on back tomorrow. Hey folks, Dale Jackson here for my friends at University Kia. And listen, I've been driving Kias for years, over a decade, actually way longer than that. And I absolutely love it. My wife made me get a Telluride for her. It's an amazing vehicle, my favorite Kia that they have ever made. Grant, my son, loves it as well. It's big, it's roomy, and it's amazing. The best part about University Kia though is they'll help you find the car that works for you and your family. So head on down to University Kia today. Check them out online at universitykia.com. And when you talk to my friends over there at University Kia, make sure you tell them Dale Jackson sent you.